Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Capricorn. So Capricorn, um, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you see are from this deck. So Capricorn, let's talk about um, resistance. I feel like your message today has to do with a remembrance about you taking into account um, and really remembering somebody that has helped you to make decisions or was by your side when you were doubting yourself or um when you were too close-minded to accept any advice it's like they were still by your side and so remember this person because they're coming in to balance your energy your energy today capricorn is very very masculine but there is a positive side to this because i feel like this is the way that you find optimism in just carrying on on this path of finding sovereignty and establishing your own independence so the six of cups is talking about this remembrance to me this talks about going back to the past going back to a memory right that is important that is significant especially in terms of you know you're balancing out your emotions taking accountability accountability of your emotions um but what i heard with this card and i feel like this is you your stance your um resistance to this remembrance is you know what is there to remember this is what i heard this question right it's like asking um but in a very reluctant way to go there right to go back to the past to go back to this memory so maybe there is some sort of um deep emotional wound or fragility or vulnerability that you don't want to remember right so it's like you're trying to avoid remembering this but the guidance is especially being the first card to me the first card it always sets the tone for the rest of the of the message right so and here the guidance is to go and navigate through your emotions even though some memories might come back some uh remembrances might surface back um into your awareness but it's important that you go back there especially in regards to a specific somebody right and you know this somebody it's only showing up at the end because i feel like you are it's like for you capricorn it's almost like you don't have time to do this right you don't have time to go on this life review or past life review um or past memories it's almost like it's not productive to you it's not um it's like it's not going to contribute to what you're living and experiencing right now it's like your concern with the four of pentacles is to be grounded in the present moment in the here and now this is what this was talking about it's like you want to feel the stability of just staying grounded where you are right this is what brings you stability this is what brings you the sense of safety perhaps you know even financial security um, because I feel like your goal is to establish this path of independence, especially in terms of career, your profession, your uh, livelihood, in terms of finances. So you're searching for more stability. You're searching for more um, groundedness. The feeling of just being stable here and now in this present moment. So this is the reason why I feel like you are not you know um just willing to go back to the past and dive into this emotional um emotional track right it's like you don't want you don't want to go down memory lane it's it's, it's simply not useful to what you're doing right now it's like your intention is to be present here and now so you're just wondering why would this be the guidance right why can't you just you know look forward from where you're standing right now why do you have to go back there and so the reason why you're so reluctant is because you feel like you're on top of 
the game, right? In terms of your decision making, because you're coming through as the king of swords. So this is somebody that really, it's like you have um, control over your thoughts. It's like you're, you're a very educated person, a very well read person. It's like, you know, you have studied, you have, maybe this is even like, you know, not just um, intellectually speaking, it could be like spiritual work, right? It's like being the king, it's like you have already achieved this maturity in terms of um, knowing your mind and knowing your mental state and how to um, dominate, right? Not be dominated by your mind, but instead be the one who makes the decisions. So I feel like you are seeing yourself as one capable of controlling your mind, but you need, it's like the, the precondition, the necessary factor so that you feel that like you are in control over your mind is to have stability, is to be present, is to be grounded in the here and now. This gives you the impression that you're good with your mental health, with um, you know, with just making decisions in your life overall. And that the positive side of that, you know, the sun appearing here. It's interesting because the sun was bringing me the optimism, which to a Capricorn is a very unlike, um, unlike um, trait, right? It's like it's not, um, it's it's like you're either very uh, realistic or sometimes when you're imbalanced, you know, pessimistic, right? My mother is a Capricorn, so I really can relate to that side of things right where capricorns can be pessimistic when they want to be um but the realistic side of things is really good is really useful right and i feel like you it's like for you that is a good thing it's like you're seeing the bright side in that trait of yours being realistic and even it's like you it's like you have hope that you can turn perhaps that imbalanced, pessimistic point of view that maybe you often have into an optimistic point of view, right? But it's almost like you need to be grounded here and now. First, you know, before you be, you're, you're able to be optimistic, it's like you need to be realistic, right? So that's the reason why I feel like going back to the past and going down this memory lane, remembering something or someone in this equation, the way that you're living your life at this moment, feeling stable or granting that you're, it's like just making sure that this stability is granted, right? Um, this is not, it doesn't fit, right? It doesn't fit this path of becoming optimistic, right? So maybe this is too emotional for you it's almost like you you'd rather not have to deal with this emotional side of things because as i said it's like you have hope it's almost like you know that things don't have to be um too hard right or too um it's like becoming too attached to the things that you have right now that bring you this stability it's like you it's like you're trying to look to the bright side of things, right? Look to the um, light at the end of the tunnel. So it's like you you know that where you're going is a good place, right? It's like going in this direction of becoming more optimistic. And more optimistic in terms of becoming also more sovereign, right? The Nine of Pentacles here, it's also related to like where you are right now, you know, that gives you the necessary feeling of stability and security and safety, right? Whether this is financial, practical, whatever it is, um, so that you can make, you know, better decisions for yourself, feel good about the decision making that you're um, choosing, right? Because it's like, it's almost like you're you're resetting everything you know um previous from this moment it's like this is your ground zero it's like if you make decisions based solely on where you are right now you feel good about where you're going next because the nine of pentacles although for me 
the nines, they show, you know, every single um, step that you had to take to come to where you are, but also where you're going. For you, Capricorn, it's like you, you're removing from this equation the past and you're just considering the present and the future, right? The nine of pentacles. So th that's the interesting thing. It's almost like you're your vision of the nine of pentacles perhaps your vision of sovereignty and independence including the physical and financial aspect of this um, independence it's only uh, optimistic or is only um mm, it's only like um you can only see this as a good thing if you look forward it's like you cannot include this backward vision right i hope that makes sense so present and future these are the only timelines that you're accepting right now but here after the nine of pentacles the queen of swords is coming and it's interesting because if you see the thumbnail you know the queen is right underneath the king and so i feel like this is the past right? Coming to remind you that in this equation of really establishing this sovereignty, this financial independence, you need to take into consideration, it's like this person who has helped you to come to this place of maturity, of being able to make these decisions, of just like feeling good about where you are right now. It's like, Remember that before you got to this place, it's like you had somebody that was encouraging you. That was that maybe this is, you know, a psychologist, a therapist, um, a friend, uh, a spouse, uh, you know, whomever this person represents, this queen is for you, Capricorn. It's like take into consideration that they are significant in this equation of continuing making decisions from now on because it's like you it's like you're you're just seeing the nine of pentacles as progress forward you it's almost like you're not remembering all of the progress that you had to make to come to where you are so maybe you're being a little bit stubborn i want to say in terms of acknowledging that where you are is thanks to perhaps you know, encouragement and, you know, things that this Queen of Swords told you or taught you, right? It's wanting to be um, rephrased as uh, instead of telling you, like teaching you, right? It's like maybe they have, well, because they're in tune with their feminine side, therefore they're not avoiding their emotions, right? This is um, about the Queen. So it's almost like the things that they, this one, this person, um, taught you it's like they are crucial to be remembered right now right because where you are is thanks to all of that right and so maybe you feel like you can only see the bright side of things if you think of the present and the future right maybe because you know the past really brings you this emotional side that maybe you don't know how to deal with right but remembering this person is almost like you know bring them back to this equation bring them back to this journey because it is like this um continuous journey right so it's it's almost like you you the way that i'm seeing you perceiving the situation that you're in it's almost like you're dropping in the present almost out of nowhere right so it's like it's almost like you maybe you don't have memory right maybe you have like this blank or blind spot right but it's important that you do like make an effort in terms of reminding um yourself or maybe you're receiving help right maybe you're actively receiving help or receiving message from your therapist you know if you haven't seen them or haven't talked to them it's almost like you bump um into them you know out of the blue it's like it's it's because there is this intelligence, right? There is this intelli intelligence um, in the universe that wants to bring into the equation because you already carry the masculine. So you are very uh, forward moving. It's like your, your momentum is to move towards the future, but it's like the, it's almost like the past contains 
knowledge that comes from this uh, subconscious mind, the high priestess. And the high priestess is also the feminine energy that the queen is bringing. So at first, you know, I was seeing the queen as an aspect of you, Capricorn. But more and more, this queen was coming through as, you know, maybe it's a female. Maybe it is, you know, a friend of yours that is, you know, a woman or somebody that has a more feminine um trade or it's like they they tune in more to their feminine side right so it could be a man but they they are very intuitive it's like their decisions are made based on their intuition and that's the reason why it's important that you um just remember them the significance of them helping you to get to where you are it's like you're feeling good about your decision making. That's not the issue. The issue that you're not um, taking into consideration that this one helped you to get where you are. So, and they can keep on helping you. That's what this high priestess is talking about because this is like the level of the major arcana, right? So it's almost like if you if you feel like you have already matured in terms of making better decisions because you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, it's like you're becoming more optimistic and it's this is something that is like a, a sign of progress, right? A sign that you're actually achieving something that you have aimed for. But if you don't remember what you have aimed for in the past that, you know, is um, driving you to keep on going, and specifically this one who seemed to be, you know, helping you to re to remember all of this feminine side, right? Through intuition, through emotions, through uh, even like, you know, just um, awareness, right? It could be like awareness of things that are buried underneath uh, the conscious mind, right? It's like they're deep in your subconscious or um, it's like in an area that it seems to be for you like this blind spot, right? Or maybe you're actively wanting to keep this um, shielded or locked or, you know, not seeing, not remembering, not bringing this to the forefront of your mind, right? Because it's like maybe you have come to a place, like a really good place, and you feel like if you don't keep on grounding yourself, Maybe this is where the attachment is coming, right? It's like, you know, the Four of Pentacles can talk about attachment. And I feel like in this case, it's not necessarily attachment to things or, you know, physical stuff or money, although that could be part of that. But it's like the attachment is to like how you make decisions, right? Or how you feel grounded enough, how you feel mature enough, responsible enough, um, secure enough right? Stable enough to make a good decision that is, it's going to prove you that you are making progress, right? Towards becoming more optimistic. Because for you, perhaps, you know, this is what sovereignty means, right? It's like, um, uh, how do I describe this? It's like you're, uh, it's like you're improving your own natural traits right it's like you're becoming like this superhuman version of yourself but it's like you won't be able to do so unless you include your subconscious mind what is buried in your subconscious right what is you know uh being carried by the feminine side and it seems like you have somebody that has already helped you with this it's almost like you just need to bring them back right it's like bring them back if you want to keep on seeking this right if you want to keep on um just going this direction of financial material um independence and sovereignty and the interesting thing capricorn just as you know uh, a quick additional message the bottom of the deck here is the two of cups and so i feel like even though you know this could be anyone really whomever is giving you advice or gave you advice and they could be of use they could be of help right now if you remember them or if they happen to you know um just um appear out of the blue right because okay so something that i didn't mention here with um 
this high priestess, the high priestess is something that is coming from the depths to the surface. So this is the process of remembering, right? It's like um, removing this person or this memory from the depths of your subconscious and bringing it to the surface where you can evaluate, where you can see it again, where you can feel that again, right? And I feel like perhaps you don't want to remember this person because it was somebody that was, you know, maybe you had feelings for them, right? And maybe, you know, this relationship didn't go exactly in the way that you were intending because if we think of the Nine of Pentacles as also this card of um, solitude, right? It's like wanting to be single, wanting to be on your own. Maybe, you know, um, if you feel like this is what you want to pursue, this is counterintuitive to bring somebody that, would be you know eventually a partner or was a partner i don't know exactly whether or not this is a current relationship it feels like there was like this um distance right but if it's like okay so there is something that um it's important about um there's something that it's like was created right? The page of cups underneath. There's something that both of you have in common, in a sense, maybe a child, maybe a project, right? So, and it's, you know, more water. So for you, Capricorn, it's important that you remember that this person is significant because it's not just about making decisions from, you know, this place of uh, mental maturity or mindfulness, but it's also like this place of, you know, making these decisions knowing that your decisions are not only sensible but also very sensitive right they're also in tune with your heart your emotions so for some reason that is really important right now um yeah i, I feel like that's it for this part i am going to pull more cards for you capricorn um and to, you know tomorrow is the new moon in capricorn so Maybe more things are about to be remembered um, during your lunar cycle. So yeah, I'm going to pull more cards for you as well as the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find a link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.